Venusaur is one of those Pokemon that's a bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it, and there's no in-between. I personally love it. I mean, look at the giant toad. And its new model in Skull and Violet is awesome. So I decided to make this monster a real menace in the meta. Now, normally you run a specially offensive Venusaur in the sun, but today I'm going to demonstrate the pure power of mixed Venusaur, taking advantage of both boosts from growth. Today's first battle is against Joel from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord, and Venusaur really shines in the sun. So without further ado, I present to you the Venusaur video. And the battle begins. Good luck have fun to my opponent, Joel. So they're going to send off the Galvantula first, which is great. As I led off with my Torkoal. So not, not a bad lead for us. We can just Lava Plume this thing if we want to. Uh, we've got the Sun up, so we may as well just do it. Let's go for a Lava Plume. They probably go for a Webs anyway. They go for the Sticky Webs, which is fine. We go for a Lava Plume, which should take them down to the Sash, if they are Sashed. Um, so we go for it. There we are. Nice and cleanly down to the sash. Hopefully it doesn't burn them. There we go. If it burned them, I wouldn't be able to rapid spin them, you see. So uh, now I can go for a rapid spin, get rid of the sticky webs, and also get rid of this thing at the same time. They go for a vault switch. That's absolutely fine by me. It's going to do a nice chunk of damage to my Torkoal, but it's absolutely fine. Uh, let's see what they go into, though. I'm leaning towards... I'm expecting the Garchomp, to be honest with you, so they can get that rough skin, rocky helmet damage on the rapid spin. Yeah, Garchomp comes in, so they're going to try and get that ro rocky helmet, rough skin damage off, um, if the rocky helmet that is. It might not be, you never know. We get a crit rapid spin, which is cool. A little bit of extra chip damage. There's the rough skin. And it looks like there's no rocky helmet, which is great. So that's um, interesting to know. So they might be loaded dice. So we have to be careful here. I don't want them to sell Pessoa's Dance, that's for sure. They probably go for an EQ. So I'm leaning towards Florges, but then they probably tear a Steel Iron Head. Uh, I don't really have a best switch in here. I think I will go Flogis, just because I know it can take an Earthquake fairly well. Um, especially if it's a bulky chomp, which it might be. So we'll go Flogis. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. They go for an Earthquake, that's going to do a lot of damage to my Flogis. It shouldn't care. Does way more damage than I thought. It's a Life Orb variant, that's why. So with Life Orb Garchomp, it's a bit more of a predicament for me. So what I'm going to do here is... I'm just going to let my, my floor just go down by a moon, by going for Moonblast, even though I know they're going to attack me. They go for a Poison Jab. Takes me cleanly out. So, floor just goes down. Floor just goes down. Uh, let's see what we can do here. So, I'm leaning towards Venusaur. I think Venusaur is the best bet. That Power Herb. But at the same time, they haven't really got anything to switch into a Slivewing's first impression. So I think I'll go Slivwing first, get the Protosynthesis and attack and go for a first impression. It'll take out the Garchomp and I'll damage, if they switch out, it'll damage anything they switch in as well. Um, so there we go, Protosynthesis is going to activate, causing our attack to heighten. We now go for a first impression and that should take care of the Garchomp. First impression comes through. Oh, it barely hangs on. It gets the Rough Skin Chip as well. And then they go for a Stealth Rock. So Stealth Rocks are going to hurt my Torkoal on the switch in, so it's going to be hard to rapid spin these away. But it's not the end of the world, you know. So um, what we'll do now is we'll go for a U-turn just in case they switch out. They withdraw the Garchomp. They do switch out, which is great. Are they going to go Arm Rouge? Staraptor. Staraptor's a fine choice. So it comes in, obviously. It's a not, not Intimidate. It's a, probably a um, Reckless variant. Well, it has to be Reckless if it's not Intimidate. So what we'll do now is we'll go into our Venusaur. Venusaur can definitely take this thing on. If it's Choice Scarf, we still outspeed it because we're double speed, whereas they're 1.5 times speed. And the speed base to base uh, the base speed isn't that different. So um, let's go for a sludge bomb now, just to get some damage off immediately. There we go. That should take care of the Star Raptor. It does. So Venusaur popping off already. You love to see it. We're gonna go into Armor Rouge, which is a very good one. Threatens me out, that's for sure. Um, I don't want to stay in here. I'm gonna go into Heatran. I'm gonna go into Heatran. If we can get the Armor Rouge weakened a little bit, then we'll be golden. We can just sweep the rest of the team with Venusaur after a growth. I do kind of want to reset the sun as well to make sure we've got all the turns we need. So I'm going to go into Heatran now just because I know it hard walls this Armor Rouge. Even if they've got Aura Sphere, it's not doing much damage. And uh, they go for... What are they going to go for? The Armor Cannon. Even better. Our Air Balloon is intact still. We get a Flash Fire boost as well. And um, the Harsh Sunlight does fade, which is fine. That means I can bring Torkoal in whenever I want. So I'm going to go for my own Stealth Rocks just to KO that uh, Garchomp and the Galvantula. They go for an Aura Sphere. It's going to bounce right off us. It does pop our Air Bloom, but they don't have Earth Power or anything like that. They don't get access to any ground moves, I don't think. Maybe Scorching Sands, but I doubt it. So 
Anyway, we get the Stealth Rocks up. Now we just need to go for a Flash Cannon to weaken this thing a little bit. I don't want to go for a Lava Plume because they could be Flash Fire. But losing Heatran here isn't the end of the world. Like I said, we need Venusaur to do something. So uh, going for a Flash Cannon seems more important. So let's go for that again, just in case. They go for an Aurora Sphere. That's going to take us cleanly out. So that's fine. Um, so now... We need to go into something that threatens this Armor Rouge. And who better than Dragapult? Dragapult actually is pretty good here. It baits in the uh, Terrapagos or the Belly Bolt because they're pretty specially defensive. So let's just drop a Draco because I'm expecting one of those two to come in. They do withdraw the Armor Rouge. Are they going to go into Terrapagos or Terrapagos? I think it's Terrapagos, isn't it? They do the Terrapagos, which is great. So a little tiny turtle comes in, gets that Terra Shift, which transforms into its bigger turtle form. And then it gets Terra Shell as an ability, which makes the first hit at full HP not very effective. So let's um, let's see how this works out for us. So Drake and Meteor comes through. It's not very effective. It still does a nice chunk of damage, um, but it does lower our special attack quite substantially. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and go into Torque Hole just to get the sun back up and also just to let it go down to a Terra Star Storm if they go for it. I don't think they can go for it if they haven't terrestrialized though, so I'm not 100% sure on how that works. So Torque Hole comes in. We get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is fine. As long as we don't get KO'd to it. <laughs> we get the Drought up, which is great. They go for a Rapid Spin to get rid of the Stealth Rocks. I didn't even know Terra Progress got Rapid Spin. That's awesome. So it's pretty, it's a pretty good utility mon as well then. By the looks of it. So anyway, let's go for a Body Press. They go for an Earth Power to take us out. That's absolutely fine by me. Not too fussed about that. There's a Smokey does go down, so that's fine. Um, now, they probably don't have anything to hit my Venusaur. So I'm going to go into Venusaur now. We've pretty much weakened their entire team enough so that if we can pull off a growth here. Because they probably go for an Earth Power. Let's go for a growth. We go for a growth in the sun. Get a boost in our attack and special attack. We should be able to take any hit from this Terrapagos. Um, they go for a Calm Mind. Ooh. Interesting. So they're trying to set up because they're, they're especially defensive monster. So they're trying to set up. But little do they know, we're actually a mixed Venusaur set. So I'm going to go for a Power Whip right now. We do connect the power with, which is great, and that's going to cleanly take out the Terrapagos. Or Terrapagos. Well, however you pronounce it. <laughs> Armor Rouge comes in. How's Armor Rouge going to take this next attack, though? We go for a Sludge Bomb right here, right now. It should take out the Armor Rouge from there at plus two. It does. No need to Terra at all. In comes the Garchomp. Garchomp's an interesting one. So Garchomp might try and Terra here to uh, avoid the Sludge Bomb. So I'm going to go for a Weather Ball just in case it does. Weather Ball comes through. Able to cleanly take out that Garchomp with its 1 HP they had. <laughs> a Venusaur coming through though. This is a great Venusaur game. I will give you that. I think we did really well this game. Setting up the sun. You know, getting everything ready for Venusaur to come through. Galvantula comes in. I'm surprised they even brought the Belly Bolt in. They must not be very confident in the Belly Bolt's abilities to do its thing. So I'm going to go for another Weather Ball right now. There we go. Weather Ball comes through. Boom. Down goes the Galvantula, which is fantastic. Absolutely great. Belly Bolt finally comes in. It's looking all chungusy. We're going to terrify a Weather Ball just to get the maximum amount of power against this thing. Um, I, I know they're more specially defensive than physically defensive, but I think a Weather Ball with Terrifier in the sun is going to do more damage at plus two than a plus two power whip would. So that's just like my mindset on that. So let's try it anyway. Even if they go, you know, if they go for an attacking move, they're probably not going to go for a water type move like Muddy Water because we were a grass type originally. But we Terra, we go for the Weather Ball like so. And if we're lucky, this will take out the Belly Bolt from full. It does. Venusaur come through. GG, Joel. That was a fun one. The Venusaur really popped off in that one. This is make a great first game for the Venusaur video. So GG, Joel. What a nail biter of a battle. Venusaur came through big time and destroyed my opponent's team. Can I get a like and subscribe for Venusaur being a beast? The next battle is against Foxy and Venusaur pops off again. This time demonstrating the power of Power Whip and justifying using a mixed set. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Foxy. So they're going to lead off with Sister Joy, the, the Chansey, as I let off with Heatran. Now, I let off with Heatran because I want to get my rocks up straight away. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to taunt this Chansey real quick. So let's taunt the Chansey so it can't stop Stealth Rocks or do any other stall things. We taunt it like so. Nothing that Shiny Chansey can do right now. I like Shiny Chansey. I don't like Shiny Blissey, but I like Shiny Chansey. They tried to Thunder Wave us, but they obviously failed. 
Uh, now we go for a stealth rock 100% of the time just to get them rocks up. Doesn't look like they have a hazard clearer, and it looks like a bit of a stally team, but you know what? We're going to break that stall no problem. Um, as they go for a seismic toss, which is going to do 50 damage because we're at level 50. Um, now we just simply switch out into Torkoal to get the sun up. I think that's what we're going to have to do. So, sun comes in. Smokey comes in with the sun. Like so. We get the drought up, which is great. They go for a seismic toss again. I'm guessing that's their only move to hit us with. And all we need to do now is uh, go for a body press. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. If they go for a stealth rocks, we'll rapid spin them away. But for now, we just go for a body press. Seismic toss comes through again. Bit of damage. We go for a body press. And that doesn't do nearly enough damage for me, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to... Oh, I can't go Venusaur. I want to go Sliverwing, but they probably seismic toss. And I'm going to go Sliverwing. Sliverwing can handle this thing. They actually switch out. They don't want to take the body presses, which is fair enough. And they're going to go into Papaya, which is going to be what exactly? The Amoongus. So the Amoongus comes in. Stones dig in. We go into Sliverwing. We're going to get Protosynthesis and attack. And then we go for a U-turn into Venusaur. We always go for a U-turn into Venusaur here. And we get up that growth. Growth's going to be really important in the sun. So our attack gets heightened by the sun. And we now go for a U-turn. We 100% go for a U-turn here. So U-turn comes through. If they switch out, that's fine. If they don't switch out, we go Venusaur. They're going to terrestrialize their Amoongus. What type are they going to terrestrialize into, though? That's the real question. Are they going to go Water? Yeah, Water. Okay, so Terra Water Amoongus is fine. We can handle that, no problem. We can handle that, no problem. We go for a U-turn. And that's going to do a solid amount of damage. We now 100% go into our um, Venusaur. Because I'm expecting a spore from this, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go into Venusaur right now. Brute Roots comes in. Looking amazing. They do go for a spore. And it's obviously not going to work on our Venusaur. So now, we always go for a growth here. They get hurt by their Black Sludge. That's why you don't have Black Sludge on a Terra Pokemon. Let's go for growth. They withdraw Papaya. They're probably going to go Chansey if I had to guess. Batra comes in. What's Batra? Volcarona. We go for growth. They have the heavy duty boots, which is good to know. We're going to boost our attack and special attack sharply. And then we're going to terrestrialize and go for a weather ball right now because it should KO in the sun. Because not only is it getting boosted to a base 100 base power move, it gets turned into a fire type. Then it gets boosted by the sun's power anyway. Then we're Terra Fire and we're at plus two special attack. This Volcarona can't take this. It can't take it. There's no way it can take it. We get the Volcarona out of the way. We're golden. So Weather Ball comes through. Boosted by Terra. And that should be dead Dead Volcarona right there. Yeah, it is. Volcarona goes down, which is fantastic. Venusaur's popping off right now. Mr. Joy comes in. So they're probably thinking, hey, this is a special attacker. My chance you can definitely take a plus two special attack from this thing, even after Stealth Rocks. Um, little do they know we're actually mixed. So we're going to go for a Power Whip now, which should, if we hit it, we do... Take out the Chansey. Nice. So nice. Because they, they were going to try and Thunder Wave us there. Thunder Waving the Venusaur was their last chance, I think. They're going to go into Papaya, which is going to be the Amoongus. And um, they're going to get the Stealth Rocks damage. That's great. We go for a Power Whip here 100% of the time. And hopefully we hit. Power Whip comes through. Nice. And down goes the Amoongus. Venusaur, sweet. We might even get a forfeit here. We might even get a forfeit. But I'm hoping they let us actually just like play through. If we get a fourth, I'm still uploading it. Ogus comes in because the sun has wore off. That's going to be the slow bro. Slow bro comes in. I don't know if it can take a power whip. I'm going to go for a power whip again. Let's go for it. We miss. No. We're going to get hit by a scold. There's the scold. And that takes Venusaur cleanly out, which is unfortunate. But Venusaur did pretty good this game. You know, maybe I should have switched into Torkoal there to get the sun back up as well. That would have been helpful. Maybe we would have lived the scold. Um, but you know what? It's fine. It doesn't matter. We go Sliverwing here 100% of the time. We always go Sliverwing here. Because this Slowbro does not want to take a U-turn. That's for sure. So we'll go for a U-turn right now. They withdraw. Probably into the Scrafty if it's Intimidate. Still a risky play because we could predict that and go for a close combat. They go into Manon, which is going to be the Pormot. Pormot can take a U-turn because it resists it thanks to its fighting typing. But... What we're going to do now is we're going to go straight into Torkoal. And Torkoal can handle this thing. No problem. So we'll go Torkoal. Torkoal can come in and get the sun up. Which is going to be really useful for the Sliverwing. Like so. 
There we go. And now we simply go for a lava plume, right? Yeah. They go for a CC. Shouldn't take us out. It doesn't take us out, which is great. They get a defense drop in both defenses. And we simply go for a lava plume here, which should take him out. Yeah, it does. So Paul Mod goes down. Now they have a free switch in Slowbrow, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Mogu comes in. That's going to be the Scrafty, right? Yeah, Scrafty, because I haven't seen that nickname yet. Stealth Rocks dig into it, which is great. We now want to... They probably Dragon Dance, if I had to guess. So I'm going to go straight into Sliverwing. If they knock off, it's not going to hurt us. I think... Because they're not intimidating. So they must be Moxie. So I can't let them KO my Tor Call because they'll get a boosted attack, which would be bad. So we'll go into Sliverwing. Get the Protosynthesis and attack, which is amazing. Now, do note, they haven't... They, they have Terrored, so we don't have to worry about a Terror here. They go for Dragon Dance. Ooh, that's a threatening Scrafty right there. So now we have to go for a close combat 100 at the time here. They go for a poison jab, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much because it's only a Scrafty. It does get the poison though. Um, so we go for a close combat and that should take out the uh, Scrafty right now, which is great. So Sliverwing comes through once again, taking out the Scrafty. But I think I now it's a toss up. Do I put this in the Sliverwing video or the Venusaur video? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this one. <laughs> in comes Ogus, the... Slow bro. Good, good, good play. Um, I think what we have to do here is we go for a U-turn and then we just switch out into like Torkoal to let it go down to a Scold. So we U-turn. Nearly takes out the Slow bro anyway. And we go into Torkoal 100% of the time here. So we let Torkoal, not Heatran, we let Torkoal go down like so. So Smokey comes in, which is great. We let it go down to whatever move the Slow bro wants to go for. They go for a Psy Shock. That's fine. That's going to take us out. Like so. And then we go back into Sliverwing and we just go for a first impression. We just go for a first impression and we win. So let's go Sliverwing right now. There we go. Sliverwing comes in. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. We do get the Protosynthesis and attack as well, which is great. And then we simply go for a first impression, um, which should take out this Slowbro from there. <laughs> first impression comes through and down goes the Slowbro. And that's going to be the game. So GG Foxy, that was a fun one. Um, definitely going to be a Venusaur one because Venusaur put, punched the most holes in the team. Without Venusaur, we couldn't have win, won this game, I don't think. So, um, yeah, definitely a Venusaur one. Venusaur may not have won us the game, but it did set the stage for Sliverwing to come through in the end. Our next battle is against Brandon from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord, and this one is amazing. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Brandon. So they're going to lead off with Gudra, as I ended up leading off with my Dragapult. So not a bad lead, not the best lead. We can't one-shot this thing with a Draco Meteor, that's for sure. So I'm going to U-turn on it instead. We go for a U-turn. There is a good chance they'll go for a Dragon Tail or a Draco Meteor. Um, it really depends on what they're going to do. So we'll, we'll withdraw a Dragon Pulse and we'll go into the appropriate switch. So if we assume they're going to go for a Dragon Tail or a, Dragon, a Draco Meteor, we should go into our Florges, which is what I want to do. Or we can go into Heatran. I'm leaning towards the Heatran to get the rocks up, but they have got like Court Change Cinderace, which could be a bit of a pain. Um, they haven't got, well, unless they're Defog and Galarian Weezing, actually. That's a good good point. So let's go into Heatran anyway. Because we can definitely take a Draco. We can definitely take a Dragon Tail. Whatever they want to go for. They do go for a Flash Cannon, predicting the switch into Florges. Good play. Well, it would have been a good play if it went into Florges. Still, though, a nice little read from my opponent. So let's go for a Stealth Rock right now. Stealth Rock comes through. They have stayed in, which worries me. They may have a Body Press or they may have Earthquake, which is a problem if they have. They go for a Surf. That's still not going to do too much damage to us, which is fantastic. So now, if I know they're going to go for a Surf, I, I, I'm going to go into my Sliverwing. I'm going to go into Sliverwing, threaten this thing out with a Close Combat or something like that. And I'll just go for a U-turn because they'll have to switch out to Dragapult. There we go. We're drawing Heatran. We're going to go into our nice and powerful Sliverin, the Sliverwing. There we go. Nice and shiny. They do go for another Surf, which should bounce right off of us. Yeah, it doesn't do much damage. So they're obviously going to expect a close combat here. So I'm tempted to go for an Earthquake. I'm also tempted to go for a close combat. Um, they may Terra. They may Terra. It's always a possibility. So I'm going to go for a U-turn, expecting them to switch out into Dragapult here. They do withdraw the Gudra. Are they going to go Dragapult? Or are they going to go Galarian Weezing? Uh, Jupiter, that's going to be the Galarian Weezing, right? Because it's Gas Planet. Yeah, get, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Galarian Weezing comes in. They get hit by some stones, which is great. We go for a U-turn on the switch. 
And we'll have to go into something that's going to threaten this thing out to prevent them from going for the defog. So we'll switch out our Sliverwing. And we'll go... I'm leaning towards either Heatran or Dragapult for the Shadow Ball. But um, Heatran's also... Uh, Venus is also a decent one if we can get the Sun up first. But I'm leaning more towards the Heatran. So I'm going to go into Heatran. I'm going to throw a Flash Cannon at this thing's face. So let's go ahead and do that. And I don't see any reason not to go for a Flash Cannon, personally. They withdraw. They don't want to get hit by Flash Cannon. They don't want to try and defog or anything like that. They're probably going to go Gudra again. Keldeo comes in. That resists both stabs. So that's a good, good switch. Um, but chip damage is still chip damage at the end of the day. So let's go for a Flash Cannon. Boom. Nice bit of chip damage. And now, if we assume they're going to go for a Fighting Time move, I, I think they go for a Secret Sword here. So I'm going to go into Torkoal and get the Sun up. Like so. So we'll withdraw. We'll go into good old Smokey over here. There we go. Get that sun up. And then we'll hard switch into Venusaur because it completely walls Keldeo. There we go. Surf comes through. It's going to do a de decent chunk of damage to us. That's definitely Specs damage. No, Life Orb damage. Never mind. I don't know my damage calcs. Um, so if we know they're going to go for a Surf, we should switch out. I'm leaning towards Florgius or Venusaur. I think I'll go with a Venusaur play. I think Venusaur is a good play here. So we'll keep Smokey around. And we'll go into Venusaur like so. There we go. They go for a flip turn, which is a very good play. However, what are they going to do to us? They get hit by Life Orb as well, which is great. So flip turn did no damage. And now, they're probably going to go Dragapult if I had to guess, or Cinderace. Gudra comes in. Gudra's a tough one here, because it could easily go for a Fire Blast in the sun, which will definitely hurt us. I'm leaning towards... Because we don't know if they're Assault Vest or not. So we don't want to stay in here. They probably go for a Fire Blast. Let's go into Heatran. We withdraw Venusaur. We're going to go into our Heatran to wall this thing. Um, just, just as much as we can. Because the sun's going to reduce Surf's power anyway. So they go for a Flamethrower. Nice. We get a Flash Fire Boost. Which means this next Lava Plume is going to hurt something. Let's go for a Lava Plume right now. I don't see any reason not to. They withdraw Gudra. They kind of have to go Keldeo here, right? Or Dragapult. Keldeo comes in. Uh, Dragapult can't really touch us, so it wouldn't be Dragapult. Keldeo comes in. Gets hurt by the Stealth Rocks. This is a Flash Fire in the Sun Lava Plume. It should do a nice chunk of damage. It actually nearly KOs them. Doesn't get the burn, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, it's fine. Um, now, I'm expecting a Sacred Sword, so I'm going to go into Venusaur. If they go for a Flip Turn, it's absolutely fine by me. I'm not too fussed about that. So, we'll go into Brute Root, like so. They go for a Surf, which is going to do no damage, which is great. Um, and then they lose their health from the Life Orb. So Keldeo goes down, which is fantastic. Although I would have liked if they weren't Life Orb, because then I could maybe set up a Growth. But we've still got the Sun for a couple more turns, so we'll keep we'll keep the Growth for later. So Rotom comes in. Is Rotom going to Terror? They usually Terror Steel, if they Terror. So I'm going to go for a Weather Ball here. Weather Ball comes through. They don't Terror. They must have been. They must be Scarfed. And fought that out speed. But unfortunately, Rotom does go down to the Weather Ball, which is fantastic. So with Rotom out of the way, um, there isn't much they can really do to my Venusaur right now. Gudra comes in. That's a good switch. Um, it's probably got Sap Sipper. And also, I can just switch into Heatran here. So I'm going to go into Heatran like so. We withdraw Venusaur. And we're going to go into good old Heatran over here, who can definitely take on this Gudra. Surf is going to bounce right off us. They go for a Flash Cannon, expecting a switch into maybe Florgius, which would make sense, but no, I'm not going to do that. I'm, in fact, going to go for a Lava Plume here. There's no reason not to. Lava Plume comes through. Any damage we can get on the Gudra is good. And um, they go for a Surf. That's fine. Surf is fine. And the Harsh Sunlight does fade, which is unfortunate. But you know what? We'll use this opportunity to get Torkoal in. We'll use this opportunity to get Torkoal in. And now I think that Gudra is weak enough to where Venusaur, Venusaur could sweep here. So we withdraw our Heatran. And we're going to go into good old Torkoal over here. To get the sun up for the final phase of the battle. Drought comes through. They go for a Surf. That's fine. Hopefully it KOs us. It does. Which means now we get a free switch into Venusaur. With the maximum amount of sun turns that we could actually get possibly. Um, in singles anyway. So let's go Venusaur now. Brute Root comes in. Like so. We Terrastalize into a Fire type and we go for a Growth. So there we go. We're going to Terror. They haven't Terrored yet, I don't think. 
So we could still get a surprise terror, but I think we'll be all right. Let's go for a terror fire. That way, if they go for a flamethrower, it should bounce right off us, even in the sun. Um, we are on a timer, though, with the life orb, but it's, it should be all right. They've got four Pokemon left, so let's get Venusaur going. So let's get that growth going, like so. They go for a Draco, and they miss. Oh, Venusaur. Venusaur. Venusaur could have probably lived the Draco, but it wouldn't have lived with enough health to, t to attack too many things. So let's go for a Weather Ball now. And this should KO the Gudra in the sun. Base 100 power. Terror uh, fire boosted. Yeah, Gudra goes down. Gudra goes down. Yeah, like I said, that Draco Meteor that missed with the Draco Meteor. That was a good play. But unfortunately, it, 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 the hacks got to them. So that's unfortunate. Fighter Jet comes in. I think Dragapult is their best bet at living a hit. Um, after Stealth Rocks, though, not 100% sure it's going to live. Let's go for the Weather Ball and find out. It's at plus two. It's got Terra Fire to make it stab. It's in the sun. It's 100 base power fire type move. Let's get it. They go for a sucker punch. It's going to sting. Oh, that stung quite a bit. As Weather Ball should take out the Dragapult, but Life Orb Recall is going to take us out. So it does take out the Dragapult, which is fantastic. Um, such power, such power. But Life Orb is going to take out Venusaur. So Venusaur, unfortunately, even though it got to do something this game, isn't going to sweep the rest of the team because they had Sucker Punch on the Dragapult. They could also have Sucker Punch on the Cinderace, but I doubt it if they've got it on the Dragapult. Um, so now what do we do? I'm leaning towards Dragapult or Sliverwing. So I'm going to go into uh, Heatran. They go actually into the Cinderace, which is good play. We go into Hot Rod, the, uh, the Heatran. If we assume they're going to either go for a U-turn or a Pyro Ball, no, a High Jump Kick, we should switch out into... Dragapult. So I'm going to go Dragapult now. So we withdraw our Heatran. And we're going to go into Lycanroe. The Dragapult. They go for a Swords Dance, which is absolutely fine by me. Swords Dance is fine. We're in a good position. They actually have Flame Orb. So they're for... Oh, they're a Facade set. Interesting. So... Um, we have to go for a... I'm going to go for a Flamethrower in the Sun. I think it'll do a lot of damage. It should should KO. They withdraw. They're expecting a, a Draco Meteor right now. Because of the fact that we're a normal type. But no, we're going to lock ourselves into Flamethrower. It should 2 it KO the Weezing in the Sun. So let's see how this plays out for us. Flamethrower comes through. Oh, that cleanly KOs the, the Weezing. That's awesome. So Dragapult comes through. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. And in comes Blaze once again, the Cinderace. Back to its fire typing. Stones are going to dig into it. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to switch into Heatran real quick. So we'll switch into Heatran. Because I am not confident Flamethrower will kill. But Pyro Ball might kill me. They go for the Pyro Ball, which is fantastic. That's going to boost our Flash Fire. And they're going to get hurt by the burn. So we now, in the sun, go for a Lava Plume, and that should finish off the Cinderace. They're going to Terra. Okay, what type are they going to Terra into? Is it going to be, like, normal or fighting or something? Maybe normal. Terra normal. So they are a facade set. Interesting. That should finish off a Heatran from here. Should finish off the Heatran. So they go for a facade, which is fine. Facade comes through. Oh, it doesn't KO the Heatran. We live and we go for a Lava Plume, which takes out the Cinderace. And that is going to be the game. So GG, Brandon, that was a fun one. It's a shame about the Draco Meteor miss. But, you know, in the long run, Venusaur didn't exactly sweep through your team. So I guess it's not too bad. But, you know, I guess things could have been a lot better for you if you didn't miss. That Draco Meteor miss was clutch and unfortunate at the same time. Gotta love a bit of hack. So you thought the video was over and we're about to click off. Well, guess what? I have an epic bonus battle for you against Domino. Venusaur doesn't pop off in this one, but it's still a really solid battle I wanted to share with you. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Domino. So they're going to lead off with Glimora, as I expected. So I led off with my Heatran, because we have the Air Balloon. We're not bothered about no Earth Powers. Um, and we can just take this thing out of a Flash Cannon, or at least get it down to its Sash. So let's go for a... Let's go... Um, we can, we're now outspeed it, so we can't taunt a Stealth Rocks away. So let's go for a Flash Cannon. They go for a Power Gem to break our Air Balloon. They probably are an offensive one. Based on that damage, I'd say they're probably offensive as well. We go for a Flash Cannon there. That is going to do a lot of damage to that Glimora. Maybe even take... No, it doesn't even take it down to its Ash. Um, now they're going to go for an Earth Power. We know this for a fact. 
because they kind of have to. So our best bet's probably going to be, I would say, Flogis. Um, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go Flogis. I don't think they'll have Sludge Wave. Based, if they've got Earth Power, they won't have Sludge Wave because they've got to have Mortal Spin. And they probably have Stealth Rocks as well. So let's go Flogis. They go for a Stealth Rock, so that's fine. Stealth Rock comes through. If we knew they'd scare us out, that's fair, fair enough. Good play. Good play. We now go for a Moonblast here all the time. They go for a Sludge Wave. We should be able to take this, though. Yeah, we take it like a champ. Flogis is just so defense, especially defensively bulky. And Moonblast takes out Glimora, which is fantastic. Like, Glimora's got a high special attack. So the fact that we took that so well, I'm so glad that Flogis is on the team. Palafin comes in. Probably just to go for its flip turn shenanigans, which is fine. Um, we definitely switch out here. No. No. They're going to go for a flip turn. And then they flip turn into Goldengo. So I think I'm going to go for a wish right now. They withdraw. So they didn't flip turn. They just straight out withdraw. Which is fair enough. And they're going to go into Goldengo. Like I expected. So we go for a wish. And then we can just go for Protect. Um, if they go for a nasty plot, then so be it. It's not the end of the world. Um, all we have to do is switch Torkoal in and go for uh, whatever we want to go for with it. So now... Do we go for Protect or do we switch out? I'd say we should switch out into Heatran and get the Stealth Rocks up. I think that's a good idea. So let's go into Heatran right now. If they Nasty Plot, we get a Wish Recovery back to full HP and we can take any hit this thing wants to throw at us. So going into Heatran is probably the best bet. So we get some Stones digging into us, which is unfortunate. They go for a Shadow Ball, which should bounce off us because we are specially defensive. Yeah, it does. And then we get a, a Wish Recovery right now, which is fantastic. So Wish came true. Now, we go for our own Stealth Rocks because their Hazard Clear is gone. Let's go for it. So, they withdraw. They're probably going to go back Scalibur because it has that unique ability, the Thermal Exchange, which will boost its attack. Back Scalibur does come in, which is great. We don't give it an attack boost. It's nice and shiny as well. I haven't seen back Scalibur in ages. Ages and ages and ages. I love it. It's such a cool design. Such a cool Pokemon. Um, so, what do we do here? So, if we assume they're going to go for a Dragon Dance, we should Flash Cannon. So I'm going to Flash Cannon right now. The Earthquake. That's fine. It, I couldn't let them sell for Dragon Dance. I, I had to like let Heatran go down there. So I couldn't let them go for a Dragon Dance. Um, but I'm glad they didn't end up going for the Dragon Dance. So what we can do now is we can go Smoking. And we can Rapid Spin. Or we can go for a Lava Plume. One of the two. Um, so what I'm going to do. I am going to go Smoking. Because even if they Terra Ground Earthquake. We can still take it. And I want to get rid of these. Uh, rapid. I want to Rapid Spin these uh, Stealth Rocks away. That's what I want to do. So, I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin right now. They go for a Swords Dance. Okay, this, this thing just became a threat. So, we know what it's going to do the next turn. We know it's going to go for a Scale Shot. So, we Rapid Spin away those Stealth Rocks, which is great. Stones dig disappear. We can't let them go for a Scale Shot. So, we have to go into Flogis here. And if Flogis goes down to an Earthquake afterwards, it's fine. We'll just bring Venusaur in. And we'll just do our thing there. So, Flogis comes in. Like so. They go for an EQ. That's fine. I I'd rather that than them go for a scale shot. You know? I'd, ra I'd rather have Flourish go down to an Earthquake just to prevent the scale shot. So now we simply go into Venusaur. Like so. Venusaur outspeeds and should, if we tear a fire right now, KO with Weather Ball. So we terrestrialize like so. We are faster, obviously, because of the Chlorophyll. Venusaur, you better pull this back for me. You better pull this back for me. There it is, terrifying. Now, unfortunately, we are weak to the Jet Punch from Palafin, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world. Because with the sun, if we get the sun up, which, I mean, the sun is already up at the moment, um, we should be all right. So they go for a Weather Ball in the sun, Terrifier. It took it! It took it like a champ! And they go for an Icicle Spear, which, if they're loaded dice, is going to take us out. If. They are loaded dice. So that is unfortunate. No scale shot though. So we still have the advantage of speed over it. So Venusaur doesn't get to do much this game. It nearly took out the backs. Nearly took it out. But unfortunately not today. So Brute Root does faint. Um, we still have things to handle things. So let's go into Sliverwing. This, 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 uh, this back scallop has been the bane of my existence this game. 
What's annoying is we if we had the wet sun up, we could sweep through their team with uh, Venusaur. But it's whatever. So let's go for a first impression. First impression comes through. Takes out the back Scalibur. Nicely done. Nicely done. So with the back Scalibur, the big fray out of the way. We've just got Ninetales, Goldengo, Palafin in its hero form, and Ogapon Half Flame. Ogapon does come in, which is terrifying. Venusaur would have been so good against this thing. Stealth Rocks do dig in, which is great. So they're not boot well, they can't be boots because they're holding a mask. And um, we now have to switch out. I'm going to go into Torkoal. Torkoal seems like the best option. So we go into Smokey over here. Like so. They go for an Ivy Cudgel, which is going to bounce right off Torkoal. Even in the sun, it's, it's still going to bounce off us. So now, if we assume they're going to switch out into Ninetales, we should go into... We should Lava Plume. I, I think we Lava Plume anyway. They do withdraw the Ogre Pond. Are they going to go into the uh, Palafin, or are they going to go into the Ninetales or the Goldengo? Yeah, Ninetales comes in. That gets rid of the sun. So that's fine. Now, we know what the Ninetales wants to do here. It wants to get the, you know, it wants to get the snow up, get an Aurora Veil up. So us going for a Lava Plume there was definitely the best thing to go for. So Lava Plume comes through. Nice bit of damage to the Ninetales. Now, I'm assuming they're going to want to go for an Aur Aurora Veil here. So I'm going to go for another Lava Plume. They go for the Aurora Veil as expected. Hopefully, Lava Plume is enough to KO this thing after the Aurora Veil. I don't think it will, but it might do. It doesn't KO, but we might get the burn. We don't get the burn. So now what? Do we go for another Lava Plume? I think we do. I think we always go for another Lava Plume here. Yeah, the Encore is into Lava Plume. That's fine. You Encore is all you want. Must do an Encore. Lava Plume comes through. Down goes the Ninetales. So that's great. With Ninetales out of the way. We haven't got much to stop us, really. In comes Palafin. So Palafin's an interesting one. So we could switch out and get the Summer Cup by going to Dragapult. Uh, it's nice and shiny as well. I love shiny Palafin. Um, let's go into Dragapult because it's immune to close combat. It's, immune, it's resistant to Jet Punch or Wave Crash. Um, and then we can get Smokey back in to get the Sun back up. To be honest with you. So we'll go Dragapult now. We'll live a hit. We'll switch back into Smokey. Get the sun up. And we should be alright. As long as they don't go for an Ice Punch here. Predicting the switch. They have Terrid though. What type are they going to tear into? Probably water if I had to guess. Probably water. And I'm hoping they're Wave Crash and not Jet Punch. Some people run both. But I'm hoping that it's not both. I'm hoping it's like Flip Turn and Wave Crash. Or Flip Turn and Jet Punch. But um, maybe not. So let's they go for a Jet Punch. Which is great. That's the weaker of the two. That's going to do a nice solid damage to us. We can now go for a Draco. Or a Shadow Ball. Leaning more towards Draco. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Draco. So they go for another Jet Punch, which is fine. We should live this, unless it's a crit. Yeah, we live. That's great. Do we take out the Palafin with Draco Meteor choice specs? We do hit it, which is nice. Yeah, Palafin got taken out. So Palafin goes down. Which is fantastic. Whew. So with Palafin out of the way, we've got to save the day with... Uh, I think Slitherwing can win us the game if they bring the Ogapon in, but they won't bring the... Oh, they do bring the Ogapon in. I mean, Ogapon can take it and Drake a Meteor right now because we're a minus two special attack, but um, I am going to help them out a bit. When I say help them out, I'm going to go into my, uh, my, my Torkoal because we're going to need... We're going to need Dragapult either as fodder or to take out the Goldengo. And I say fodder because if the Goldengo scarfed, it outspeeds us. So we get the drought up anyway, which is great. They go for an Ivy Cudgel, which is going to bounce off us, but it's still going to take us, nearly take us out. Yeah, two shots us from there. So now we just go for a Lava Plume just in case. They go for an Ivy Cudgel though, which is going to take us out. So that's fine. Um, we can go into Slitherwing right now and go for a first impression. And it should take them out because of the Protosynthesis boost. So I'm going to go into Slitherwing now. There we go. Slivering comes in. And we do have Earthquake, so we can definitely take out the Goldengo. So we're going to get that Pro Simpsons in attack. Attack is heightened. We go for that first impression. It should take them out. It doesn't. And they go for an Ivy Cudgel, which is going to take us out. Ah, so Slivering goes down. I, underest I overestimated uh, Slivering a bit there. It's fine, though. Let's go Dragapult. Maybe I should have done Dragapult in the first place and gone for a Draco, but now I'm going to have to go for a Shadow Ball. This thing doesn't get priority, so we should be all right going for a Shadow Ball here. Shadow Ball comes through, and unless they're Gold... If the Gold Dengo's Scarfed, we've lost. If it's not Scarfed, we've won. 
So Ogapon goes down. This is a pretty good game, a very close game. The Aurora Veil wears off. Oh, I, I didn't overestimate Sliver Wing. The Aurora Veil was up. I always forget about the Aurora Veil. Goldengo comes through. I know someone was screaming at the teddy right there. The Aurora Veil's up. You idiot. <laughs> Let's go for a Shadow Ball now. Yay, they're not scarfed and the Aurora Veil's gone. So we definitely win this game with a Shadow Ball. As that is going to be GG. So GG to my opponent. That was a pretty fun game. Really enjoyed that one. And it's going to make a good bonus pick battle. So GG Domino. What a game. GG Domino for real. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Feel free to use the team using the code on screen and let me know how it goes if you do. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.